It's latke season, you guys. Now, Hanukkah hasn't started yet, so today I wanted to talk to you about making latkes in advance to have a smoother holiday for you and your family. I am doing latkes for the nursery school class, the kindergarten class, my father's birthday, and then we have Hanukkah itself. I wanna mention that this video is a collab organized by Hannah over at Jewish Educational Home. Hannah has gotten together a whole broad range of amazing mommies from a variety of observance levels who are all talking about Hanukkah on their channels. I'll hook up all of their videos for you and you can see all of the different ways that we're doing Hanukkah in our households. I am gonna sort of set my timer and cook up these little latkes and let them drain. I'm planning to work for about two hours and then I will start putting these latkes away in the freezer for later. Hang out and watch till the end of this video, especially you, Alana, since you asked about this video, I'm going to be thawing a batch of these latkes in my oven and I'll show you how that goes and how I like to do them. I um, will link up my original latkes video so that you can see from start to finish my technique, but I have two bowls and a box grater. And then I pull out my cookie sheets, which I like to use as the base for freezing a large stash of latkes. And I always check because I have this lame freezer I always check and make sure that this will fit in my freezer and that I have space. In an ideal world, you have like a deep freeze or a freezer chest, and then it's really great to do big batches of latkes and just lower them in. Gonna get to work, gotta say goodbye, gonna come back to you once I have them and ready to package and freeze. If you have a husband who works from home, it might be better to do this while he's sleeping because you're gonna have about a 10% loss if it's during waking hours and it's even lunchtime, so it's even worse for me. Uh, my husband says that he only eats the uglies, but I know that that's not always true. Um, and if you ask me how many have I eaten today, the answer is zero because I'm the one slaving over these. I put in a bowl today nine large russet potatoes and two giant onions. I used six eggs. And so to give you a sense of what that yielded me, I have fried up about 48 latkes, so four dozen plus like three that went into my husband's mouth. And then I have a bowl here. I probably have like 18 more two bite latkes in here. So let's talk now about how I wrap these to freeze. I am actually going to my mom's house shortly, so I'm gonna do these on um, the big baking sheets. I just remove my paper towel layers. This is getting dangerous. Then I wanna get back to my foil layer. So the only difference between making these fresh and freezing them is that I um, eliminate my paper towel layer and then go ahead and freeze them. So I'm just gonna get this ready for that stage now and I'm gonna move these over. As you can see, I probably prefer the ones that are the blonde tone rather than the darker ones. My husband is gonna say that he'll eat those dark ones and I might let him. The blonde ones rewarm nicely. That way if they go a little too far, you have a little room uh, to let them darken. This one's a little dark, but that might have a certain person in mind. <laughs> there he is. Some people like them a little crispier. So here we go. Um, you can crowd the pan a little bit but you don't want any overlapping. So, you know, these are not gonna expand. They have the oil on them that they need to re-crisp. And then I'm gonna go over them with just another layer of foil. And I um, extend my foil a little bit longer than the cookie sheet so that when it's time to rewarm them, I can just lift off foil layer after foil layer, set it aside, and I just start baking the first layer first, and then I set another tin foil sheet full of latkes on for my subsequent rewarming. Okay, so this is my next layer and I'm just gonna go on it, reserving the more burnt ones for 
my husband. I also want to know and note the quantity. So for example, at school, I need batches of 36 bite-sized latkes. These are maybe on the larger side. Um, these are like two bite latkes. So I'm going to do probably three layers, put them in the freezer for the nursery school and the kindergarten parties, and just be able to pull that cookie sheet out, let it come up to room temp and take it to school and warm it in the oven. I have a lot of oil that's been sopped up. So that's not going in here. We're just keeping the oil that's on the latka in these layers. Once I have this done, I just go over everything with one giant sheet of tin foil. I probably wrap it all the way around. If you're very concerned with freezer burn, you can do a um, saran wrap or plastic layer to encase everything. I find that that's not really necessary if it's a short-term freeze that you're going to do. Um, you can also freeze small packets in foil and put them in a Ziploc bag and do it that way and then put them onto a cookie sheet when you're ready to warm them. I need to get to carpool. When I see you in the next snippet, I'm going to be thawing these in my oven and I'll share my warming time and ideal temperature with you because let's be honest, I do it differently every time based on what's in my oven for dinner, but I'll I'll share that information with you at the end. I'm back and it's bedtime and I had almost forgotten that I was supposed to rewarm these latkes so here I am ready for bed but in the interest of internet research I am warming two latkes in the oven for you from frozen. Just so you know I've been doing latkes all weekend long and if you have them at room temperature you only need to put them in the oven at 250 for about 8 to 12 minutes. These frozen ones I've put in a little bit higher 300 degrees and we've gone 22 minutes or so and they seem okay to me. Obviously this time is going to vary based on what size latke you have. So let's pull these out and we will test their crispiness now. All right, you guys. So I'm not going to burn my little mouth on these, but I just want to show you the crunch. That was a more well done one and the crunch on here. I flipped these halfway through, softer on this side, soft and creamy, crunchy on the exterior. So I would rate these as perfectly respectable, rewarmed from frozen latkes. Once again, to give you the times from room temperature, which you could take your frozen latkes out the night before and leave them at room temperature, you're gonna put those in around 250 to 300 for eight to 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. From frozen, I'm doing them at 300 degrees for 22 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, a little bit longer or hotter temperature if you have a bigger latke. And obviously a convection oven is gonna speed this process up. It's been a long weekend, lots of frying, lots more frying yet to do. I hope that this trick is helpful for you to get ahead of the game if you wanna do some latkes in advance and not be frying at the very last minute with company coming to your house. Thank you so much for your time and I hope that you will check out those other videos down below in the description box of my other YouTube mommy friends. Have a wonderful holiday, a happy new year, and I'll see you back here on my channel soon. Take care.